So today I'm going to take you through viewing the attributes of a user and managing objects a little bit. So we're going to go Tools, Active Directory Sites, oh no, sorry, Users and Computers. I'll open this up. Alright, so here we go. First we're going to Let's make some users. Actually, let's make a new organizational. Actually, we've got one called people. Let's make some new users. So, right click on here, new user. We're going to call first one Lynn A. Um, fog. Use a logon name is going to be Lin. Next, we don't want it to have a password. Oh, that won't meet our complete. We'll go. User cannot change password. Password never expires. Put in a password. Next, finish. Now we're going to copy this same user. So right click on it, copy. Now it's going to go first name, Greg R. Toll. And we'll give them the logon of Greg. Next, password. Usually if I'm in a real domain environment, I will tick user must change password at next logon. But that won't work because I've got password never expires. This is just for testing purposes. Next, finish. And we'll make one more. Um, copy. We could just do it the other way. We'll just do it the other way, just for fun. New user. Call this one Trevor. You hell, Trevor. You hell. He can log on as Trevor. Next password. Password never expires. User cannot change password. Finish. All right. So now you've got these users, we want to add some information about them. I'm going to go right click on him, on Greg, properties. Let's add a street. We're going to go number one, red street. Doesn't have a PO box, city, Melbourne, state. Victoria um, 3001 country AU Australia apply that so now that's going to be there account profile if we wanted him to have a roaming profile we would put it in there which I'll show you another day let's add and telephone number. Let's go. Right, cool. There we go. And there's his mobile. And we'll make a note. Not after work hours. We're going to make him a member of the finance group which we made last time. Let's go check names, finance. OK. Let's apply and close that. Now, you can see these things. Do you want to see more? OK. Let's go. View, advanced features. Now we've got extra. So we'll go back into our people OU. Right click on Greg, go properties. Now look at all the stuff he's got. 
which is cool. Really? And... What else? Environment. We don't want him to work in an environment. Security. This is where you can make his security settings. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much that. You can have a look around in here. Job title. Well, we'll give him a job title too. Let's go accountant department finance company test co manager he doesn't have a manager he is a manager well he's not really but we'll leave him there so that's him now let's manage more than one person so let's go Trevor and Lynn and we'll right click go properties as you can see there's only a few because there's only a few that we can go but let's say Trevor and Lynn are married so we're going to go street um, six bank street city same city let's go war number got to tick the, all of these which makes it a bit annoying Code three nine nine five. Oh, it's all right. Country Australia again. Apply. Do we want anything else? No. Okay. So now, if I double click on her, her address will be that. And if I also double click on Trevor, his address will be the same. So that's how you do multiple. And let's say. Trevor and Lynn don't work on Tuesdays. So let's go log on hours. Let's change their log on hours. Log on denied. Oh, oh hold on, here we go. So now we'll go all the Wednesday. Log on permitted. If we hold down control. Oh no, that doesn't work. So you've got to tick it all. Like so. Let's say they just work Thursday, Friday. Okay. Apply. Okay. So now if we just look inside Trevor, his log on hours are going to be the exact same as Lynn. Oh, where is it? Sorry. I've gotten myself lost. <laughs> log on hours. But none of these can log on. So if we unlock the account. Oh, sorry. Unlock. Didn't work. Apply. Oh, well, that doesn't work at the minute. Bugger it. We'll show you that later. But yeah, so that's how you can do that quite easily. We can also, let's say Greg, only is allowed to log on to, what's my other computer name? I've forgotten it. Where is computers? Let's say he's only allowed to log on to the Windows computer, which obviously you'd have more than one computer. Let's say Greg is only allowed to log on to Windows. Oh, delete. Windows add. So now he can only add log on to the Windows computer. So there you go. Quite simple really. There's lots of different stuff you can do. But you can do this through PowerShell as well, which is really quite shit. But yeah, so that's this. Good on ya. And um don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you later.